When using the effector displacement tool on a plane, uh, we can displace the geometry. And one thing that you might find is that there's like this invisible force field and you can't see it. So you might not know exactly when it's going to start affecting it until you actually see that it's affecting it. Okay, and sometimes you want a little visual display to, to help you along. So what you can do is come over to the properties panel and under the geometry tab under add custom object we can choose effector and you can already see in OpenGL you can see now we've got a visual display but it's not accurate to the shape so what we need to do is go over to this uh, geometry that's being uh, displaced come over to the effector displacement and see that the solid core is set at 2 meters and the falloff distance is set at 3 meters and the effector shape is set to point so I'm going to go over to the geometry tab, back over to the, the null, which is our effector, double click, and we'll see that the effector shape is a point. We could set it to plane, and you can see here that it displays a plane, which could come in handy if that's the option you're using for effector, but we're using a point. Okay. The solid core we had set at 2 meters and the fall off distance is set at 3. You'll need to manually set this. It won't know what size to work with so you need to set it but now that we have that we can see visually where the fall off is taking place. This, this shape right here, these rings, that's the solid core. Okay, So there's the core right there and we can see where it's uh, affecting. Now the arrows represent the fall off. Okay? So without, we could even go in, if we ever wanted to, we could go in and say we had a really busy scene with a lot of stuff going on. We could go over to the ground, temporarily turn off the effector, okay? go over to our, our effector object, our null, animate our null, and without even seeing it um, uh, affecting the geometry, we know that it's intersecting with the fall off. Normally you would just see a null right here. You wouldn't even see, well let's go see, P for properties. You would normally just see um, a null shape here, but uh, now we know where the fall off is taking place and we know where the solid core is so that when we go and turn effector back on, we already have a pretty good idea of what's going to be taking place because of this visual display. So it's just one way of going about showing uh, the, the visual display for um, a null or for an object when you're using effector. And again, that's just P for properties, come over to the geometry tab and choose effector for the atom add custom object.